Hello everyone. This is Israel, a beautiful Middle Eastern country on the Mediterranean Sea. Due to professional requirement, I spent 2 years in this country. In this series, which is about traveling in Israel, I will talk about general lifestyle, safety aspect and then cover all the main tourist attractions, how you can go, what to see and all those stops. Firstly, When I got this opportunity to stay in Israel for 2 years I was not sure and rather little hesitant whether to accept this offer or not because of obvious general notion we outsiders have about Israel for the people outside Israel it looks like that for common citizens this country is very hostile to live in but based on some friends input and especially based on my husband's advice I accepted the offer and dared to take the risk of staying in this country all by myself for two long years. And now, here I am. I miss this place so much and I wish I could have lived there for even longer. Believe me, this country and of course the people therein are so amazing that I had tears in my eyes when I was returning to India. Workwise, People are extremely professional there but still helpful when needed. This is unlike Germany or US where people are too professional to be approached. For me, it was simply a home away from home. This technologically advanced country is very very safe for common citizens. Trust me, I found it to be much much safer than US or even advanced European nations like Germany or France. I used to travel to from airport in the middle of the night by taking cabs without any fear. It's quite common to get a hitchhiking road trips there. Everyone is ready to help you if you are in need. And one thing I must mention, uh, it's about the safety about the credit cards that I saw there. You won't believe my credit card details including CVV numbers were given to the mobile network operators. supermarket store private travel agents but they used to charge exactly the required amount every month and i didn't face any money laundering cases in 2 years of my stay isn't it amazing this is how the society is running and every citizen behave very very responsibly for their country the state of israel came into existence nearly at the same time as independent India happened in spite of the fact that majority of the land like around 60% is desert still this country has progressed like anything israel's progress in agriculture is remarkable i couldn't believe my eyes when i sh- saw lush green agricultural fields in the middle of the desert land they grow best quality grapes for wine production in the desert can you imagine this yes true these tomatoes are grown in desert land despite its small size one get to see geographical varieties in this land it's having mediterranean sea on the west and red sea in the south mount hamon in the north and negev desert in the south though jerusalem is the capital of this country tel aviv is the main economical and technological center Jerusalem is the most sacred site for some of the major religions in the world like Jews, Christians and Muslim. During my stay, I roamed around the country and saw all the major tourist sites therein like Jericho, Jordan River Valley, Tel Aviv, Elat, Haifa, Beit Gubrin Caves, Rosh Hanikra and not to miss the Dead Sea. Oh yes, how can I forget the Christmas Eve at Bethlehem in Palestine? Also one can easily visit Petra in Jordan it's very easy to go there from Israel here is a short guide how one can plan a tour to this beautiful country without any tour agents all you need is a good itinerary a smartphone sufficient cash and a will to travel or explore new things the main airport here is Tel Aviv Air India is having a direct non-stop flight from Tel Aviv to delhi and its round trip uh, cost around 40000 rupees uh, it's in the pre covid time though 
and uh, also israel's national airline elal is having a direct non-stop flight from mumbai to tel aviv though the flight schedule is disturbed nowadays due to covid restrictions also the public transportation system here is very good you have excellent bus bus and rail service here one can take day passes for unlimited travel in bus or train at 600 rupees for short distances like around 200 km or at uh, 1200 rupees for longer distances however the main thing to keep in mind is that due to shabbat which is a religious belief i mean due to the shabbat uh, related restrictions no public transport is available from friday afternoon till saturday evening and almost the entire country comes to a halt during this time so while ticket booking please keep it in mind and yes if you are a confident driver you can easily hire a car and roam around the country they follow right hand driving like uh, us and europe initially it used to be very difficult for me to get ad- get adjusted to this new driving protocol also the israelis are very fond of indians as well as indian food because many israelis post their mandatory military service visit india for long duration say for around 6 months to 1 year or even more they mostly visit the himalayan region or go to gokarna or hampi region so eventually you get to see many indian food stalls even in israel also the majority of the indian staying in israel are for caretaker services for old people and of course some fractions are in the education and research sector so getting indian food in israel is not a difficult task another thing is that even israeli foods are typical middle eastern foods like hummus pita bread then different salads shakshuka which is uh, which contains tomatoes and eggs and also baba ganoush all these foods are extremely tasty too in general this country is quite expensive and a typical meal for two will cost around 100 to 250 shekel that's around 2000 to 3000 rupees and uh, yes don't forget to get uh, your indian currency exchanged to us dollar or euro while you are in india and then this dollars or euros can be converted to new israeli shekel which is the currency in uh, israel at tel aviv airport direct conversion from uh, rupees to shekel is not possible for accommodations you can use airbnb to book hotels or homestays all options are quite reliable we stayed at different homestays which costed around uh, like 5000 rupees per night and uh, hotels were very very expensive and of course it was out of our reach so we stayed in uh, airbnbs now let's focus on the itinerary so Uh, day one, one can travel from India to Tel Aviv, settle at the hotel and homestay. Day two, roam around Tel Aviv in the morning and then go to Jerusalem in the evening. Day three, roam around Jerusalem and move to Bethlehem in the evening. Day four, roam around in Bethlehem and then back to Jerusalem in the evening. Day five, uh, go from Jerusalem to Ein Bukit, that's the Dead Sea area. Enjoy few hours there and then move to Elat. Day six is for staying in Elat and then enjoying the activities therein. Day seven is for Petra and Wadi Rum in Jordan. Day eight back to Elat and then stay in Mitzpah Ramon. Day nine, uh, one can see the Ramen Crater, which is the world's largest erosion crater in Mitzpah Ramon, and then their way back to Haifa. they can give a stop to uh, see the beautiful negev desert and then detain uh, one can cover haifa and roshanikra and then next day or the same day one can simply come back to tel aviv and then take a flight for their country uh, considering nothing stands in front of our great himalayas Indians can definitely skip the Mount Hermon region in uh, northern Israel. So I would suggest that please see the next two epi- episodes in this series for detailed videos on these tourist places. Have a nice day. Bye bye.